Hey cuties, so in today's role-playing video, we got bullied by the new girls at school. I can't believe we're finally back. Huh, summer flew by. Tell me about it. I already missed my daily ice cream diet. Don't forget your epic failed attempt at surfing. Hey, I almost stood up for three whole seconds. Yeah, before you face planted into the sand. Details, details. Okay, what about your summer? Any highlights? I got sunburned so bad I looked like a lobster. Twice. Ouchie, you really should learn to reapply your sunscreen, girly. Oh, and did you ever find that missing flip-flop? Nope. Dang it. I also tried the new roller coaster at Brookhaven Park, and I almost lost my lunch. Oh, good thing you didn't. Cleaning that up would have been gross. Seriously, like everyone below would have been in like the splash zone. Honestly, though, the ride operator's face at the end made up for all of it. Priceless. But speaking of faces, uh, who are they? Huh? What? Where? Over there, by the door. They look like they step out of a fashion magazine. Oh, they do. Who do they think they are? No clue, but they're definitely not from around here. Well, should we go say hi? Uh, yeah, you're right. Maybe later. Uh-oh, the assembly's starting now. The principal's coming. Say much, much, much later. Jeez, that assembly was long. Yeah, and it went right into lunch. We only have a few minutes left to grab something to eat. Come on, let's just go to the cafe then. I turned into something no one wants to see when I miss lunch. Hey, I'm Tiffany, and this is my bestie, Brittany. You two got a minute? Oh, uh, hey, I'm Mackenzie, and this is my bestie, Sk I'm gonna stop you right there, because, see, we don't care. What? Well, then why come up and introduce yourselves? We're new to the school, but considering you two are clearly at the bottom of the popularity pond here, we came up to bully you. Yeah, and we need to establish our dominance around here. Hey, how do you know we're at the bottom? Yeah! Well, we couldn't help but notice your interesting fashion choices. What the heck is that supposed to mean? It means you two look like walking cotton candies. So childish. Wow, okay, that's a new one. And we love cotton candy. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Most people our age have grown out of that by now. Anyways, I've had enough of seeing your ugly faces. Come on, Brittany, let's go find some other targets. Right behind you, girl. Whoa, that was kind of expected. I guess we're getting bullied by the new girls at school. A few moments later. Oh, they're in our class too? Excuse me, nerds, you're in our seats. Uh, these are our regular seats. We sit at the front, so move it. We'll find your keepers, losers, weepers. Did you just call us losers? No, but if the shoe fits. What is going on here? Well, they stole our seats. Brittany, Tiffany, sit at the back. These seats are taken. But we always sit at the front. Well, today you don't. Now go sit down. Oh, you two are totally going to pay for this. Oh, no, I'm shaking in my boots. You think you're funny? Just wait. Sky, maybe we should just shut up. This isn't over, losers. One hour later. Okay, girls, I want everyone to swim there and back as fast as you can. Remember to stay in your own lanes and put your hands up when you get to the finish. Everyone ready? Uh, I guess. You got this, girly. It's just you and the water. There's no need to be afraid. I'm right here. Okay. Yeah, ready. Ready, steady, go. All right, swim, Kenzie. Breathe. All right, you got this. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Hey, Mackenzie, ever played submarine? Hey, you're in my lane. Get out. <laughs> there. Oh, they're just having fun. <laughs> Wait, did she just pull Candy underwater? <laughs> but she's not a strong swimmer. I'm gonna throw you, girly. So, is the race still going? Huh? What? Oh, where's Candy? I'm going in. Candy! Oh, oh, oh. Candy, wake up. Wake up. Oh, what, what happened? She tried drowning you. She's a psycho. Oopsies, looks like that went too far. Calm down, Sky. It looked like an accident. She's okay. Just relax. Yeah. Come on, Sky. Let's get out of here. I don't feel so good. Yeah, let's go before they try something else. Class isn't finished. I was just unconscious. Give me a break. Moments later. All right, Mackenzie. So what happened? Well, we were in swim class, and then one of the new girls, Brittany, she pulled me under. Yeah, she tried to drown her. It was crazy. That sounds serious. I should call your parents and let them know what happened. No, please don't. It'll only make things worse. Are you sure? They should be aware of this. Yes, I'm sure. We'll handle it. All righty, then. But if anything else happens, you need to tell someone. We will, we promise. Thanks, Mrs. Nurse. Okay, Mackenzie, well, you're all good to go. Just be careful, all right? Thanks, we will be careful. And if you change your mind about calling your parents, just let me know. I will, thank you. Come on, girly, let's go before they find us again. Take care, girls, be safe. We will, thanks again. Moments later. I can't believe Brittany literally tried to do 
that to you. I know. She's a psycho. We need to stay far away from them. Yeah, we need a plan to get them off of our backs. This is just getting out of hand. You're right, but what can we do? They're relentless. We could avoid them, but that won't solve anything. Well, maybe we should tell the principal. I mean, this has gone pretty far. Well, we could, but what if it makes things worse? I don't know, Sky. I'm just tired of being scared. Hey, losers. Miss us. Ah! Oh, no, 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 not again. Run, Sky! Catch them, Brit, with pleasure. Watch out, Dweeb. Later that same evening. Oh, Roblox has been a good distraction from today, honestly. Definitely. I feel a lot more relaxed now. Oh, look! A new friend request! From the user named Must Destroy Mackenzie and Sky 9000? That's weird. Oh, what now? We just got a message. It says, you messed with us and now we will torment you until the last day? Oh my gosh! It's gotta be Tiffany and Brittany! Another threat! Great! Mackenzie, this is getting serious. We should really tell parents. No, do you remember the first time we told our parents about Ashley and Ayla? They basically destroyed us. Yeah, I guess you're right. And these girls are even crazier. Exactly. It'll just make it worse. Okay, 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 but, but we need a plan. Okay, I'll think of something, but it's getting late. I should probably head home. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow then, girly. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Sky. The next day. Why did you girls want me to drive you so badly? It's such a nice day out. You two should be walking. Uh, we just wanted some extra mom time, right, Sky? Yeah, totally. Mom time is the best Huh, you girls are acting strange. What is really going on? Nothing, really. We just wanted to avoid sweating before the first period. Yeah, and my shoes are new. We can't risk ruining that. Sweating? It's barely half a mile. Yeah, but you know, Sky has a sweating problem. Hey! All right, if you say so. But you know you can tell me if something's up, right? Of course, Mom. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, thanks, Mrs. McKenzie, Mom, Lady Ma'am. All right, well, have a good day at school, girls. We will. Bye! Oh, your mom is a queen for giving us a ride. We could not risk getting almost run over again by them. Now we just have to worry about hiding from them here at school. True. Come on, let's just go to the washroom. Good idea. Let's move. A few moments later. All right, let's just hide here until the bell rings. Perfect plan. No one bothers us in the bathroom. Oh, man. Taco Tuesday was a mistake. I hope this toilet has insurance. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you hearing this? I'm not. This is awful. Ugh, I need a new diet. This is torture. Seriously, I'm never eating tacos again. Ah, sweet relief. Oh, thank goodness. If I had to stay in the stink any longer, I think I would have vomit. Let's get out of here before we need gas masks. Agreed. A few moments later. Okay, just be calm. Let's not make a scene. Right, right. Yeah, we can handle this. Oh, look. The security cats finally showed up. Took you long enough. Enjoy the view from the back, losers. Ignore them, Sky. Let's just find new seats. Yeah, they're totally not worth it. All right, class. Settle down. Let's begin today's lesson. Try not to get lost back there. Yeah, and enjoy staring at the back of our beautiful heads for the next few hours. I swear, one day. Just let it go, Sky. Focus on the lesson. Uh, Today's topic is quadric equations. Open up your textbooks to page 42. One hour later. I can't believe we thought we would be bully free after Ashley and Ayla moved away. And now we're like even worse off eating in a janitor's closet. So gross. Yeah, goodbye to the mean queens and hello to the feisty fashion snobs. Ugh, dare I say that Tiffany and Brittany are even worse than Ashley and Ayla. What are the odds? Yeah, I don't know it was with Ashley and Ayla, but I always thought they cared about us deep down. But these girls, they just could not care less. Yeah, the new girls this year are unhinged. Ugh, it's like we have a magnet for bullies. Seriously, do we have bully me signs on our backs? I checked. No signs, just bad luck. I wish we could do something to make these bullies not notice us. Actually, I'm glad that you mentioned it, because I have been thinking, and I have an idea. Really? What is it? I'll tell you after school. It better work. I can't stand getting bullied for another entire school year. Trust me, it'll be a game changer. It better be, otherwise I'm transferring to the moon. A few moments later. All right, girls, now that you've seen how to 
to the obstacle course, I want you each to try it one by one. I'm really nervous about this, girly. Me too, but the teacher is watching, and there's no water this time, so we should be okay. All right, well, here I go. And Sky, you can get going now, too. All right, here goes nothing. Keep it up, girls. All right, go ahead, Tiffany. Piece of cake. All right, Brittany, you're up. Get out of my way. Oh, ow, ow, my leg, it hurts. <gasps> oh my gosh, Sky! Tiffany, Tiffany, did you push her? What? I just tripped. I didn't do that on purpose. Principal's office, now. Ugh, whatever. Ow, 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 I think I broke my leg. I'll call an ambulance immediately. <laughs> Drama queen. Sky, you're gonna be okay. Help is coming. Oh my gosh, but it hurts so much, girly. Just hold on, Sky. The ambulance is gonna be here soon. Stay calm, everyone. Help is on the way. Wow, I can't believe she's making such a fuss. Brittany, this isn't funny. She could be seriously hurt. Whatever. She's just looking for attention. Everyone, back away and give Sky some space until the ambulance arrives. Three hours later. You useless people. Better do something about the devil that pushed my little girl. Uh, hello? Hello? Ugh. Mom, what happened? The principal says she can't do anything about Tiffany pushing you because Tiffany claimed she tripped and it was an accident. What? That's I know, and I want to press charges. No, Mom, please don't do that. Honey, is this what you've been hiding from me? Have these girls been bullying you too? No, Mom, I think it was just an accident. What? Sky, are you serious? Shush, girly, it's okay. Are you lying to me right now, Sky? No, we haven't seen those girls before today, I swear. Are you sure, Sky? Yes, Mom, I'm sure. Promise? Promise. Okay, then. I'll leave it alone. Let's get you home to rest. Thank you, Mackenzie, for being here. Of course. Call me when you're rested, Sky. Thanks, girly. I will. All right. Now, come on, honey. Let's get you home. Later that same evening. Oh, that nap really did help, but I better call Kenzie. Hey, Sky. Hey, girly. How you feeling? Sore, but okay. And thanks again for having my back at the hospital. She was really pressing me about it. But you got her off my back. Why did you lie and protect them, though? I thought about what you said. It might make things worse. Maybe we should just go under the radar and switch classes. I have a better idea. Yeah, I totally forgot. You were supposed to tell me after school. What's the plan? We should get nicer clothes, wear some makeup, and change our hair. You really think that'll work? Just make ourselves look more popular. Or they'll just make fun of me for having a cast and a broken leg. But hey, why not? Well, if it doesn't, then at least they'll have less material to bully us about. We don't really have very many other options, and it's just a new look, right? Exactly, and it'll be fun to change up our look for a bit. I mean, we don't have to change who we are, and if we don't like it, then we can just change back. And I'm happy you said yes, because I already picked out the perfect outfits for us. Sweet. Should we get our hair done before school? Heck yeah, girly. Okay, I'll meet you there at 7. Sounds good. Okay, see you then. Okay, bye. The next morning. Hello there, ladies. Wow, you are my first customers of the day. What are you two looking to get done? Hi, we're looking to get a new look. Bougie, rich, baddie style. Easy. You know, I'm a four-time winner of the Bougie, rich, baddies hairstyle award. Oof, that is a mouthful. All right, who is first? I'll go first. All right, well, take a seat and let's work some magic. All right, hopefully this looks good. Moments later. And done. Oh, beautiful, darling. Wow, girly, you look amazing. Your turn, Sky. Okay, let's see the magic. All right, hop in the chair right here, sweetie. I'm so excited. I hope it looks as good as yours, Kenzie. A few moments later. <laughs> uh, Sky, you look like a poodle. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot go to school looking like this. I'm just kidding. Four-time winner, remember? Okay, let me just fix that. Uh-huh. Moments later. And voila. Spectacular. Ew, this is much better. And if I went to school like a poodle, the bullying would be endless. Yeah, they would call you fluffy for sure. Thanks for giving us these hairstyles, though. We look amazing. No problemo. You both are fabulous. Now, come on over to the register where you will pay me my well-earned moolah. Oh, right. Moments later. Hey. What do you need? Hi. We would like to do spray tans, please. Sure, yeah, whatever. Tanning boots are over there. Thanks. All right. Well, here we go. Time to glow. All right. Well, see you on the other side, golden goddess. A few moments later. Uh, girly, it's been seven minutes and my door's not opening. Mine either. What's going on? Help! Help! We're stuck! Stay calm, Sky. We're gonna be crispy. I'm starting to feel like a rotisserie chicken. Well, at least we'll be evenly roasted. Help! I'm too young to be tanned to death. Conserve your energy, girly. Meanwhile. You know, I used to be mad at love. So take a look at you. Done. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. Hey. Oh man, I just love.
love T-Swift. I should really be on TV. Hashtag living my best life. Ooh, new follower. Moments later. All right, girls, you can come out now. What the heck? What took you so long? We look like tomatoes. Yeah, this is ridiculous. We could sue. Well, technically, the tanning booths are at user discretion, so... Are you serious? This is unbelievable. Hey, at least you're evenly red. Consistency is key. We look like lobsters. I can't go to school like this. Well, it's definitely a bold fashion statement. Oh, we are so out of here. Yeah, and we're never coming back. All right, well, have a nice day, girls. A few moments later. Great, now we're late for class and bright red. My skin blended with my hair. This is a disaster. We'll just handle the bullying together. As soon as class is finished, we'll book it behind the stage so no one can see us. This is perfect for me. This will take all the bullies off of me for a whole year. Woohoo! Timmy, don't! Delete those pictures! No way! This is gold! Great! Now we're meme material. Oh boy, come on. Let's just go to class. We'll survive this somehow. I hope you have a good plan for hiding after this. Trust me, behind the stage will be our safe haven. All right, let's go, Lobster Squad. Moments later. <laughs> oh my god, look at them. You both just made it easier for us. I am sorry, girls, but this is just unexpected. I can't do this, girly. Me too. Let's get out of here. Wait, come back. We weren't done roasting you. I think they roasted themselves enough. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I think I'll need a moment to gather myself before we start again. Moments later. I can't believe this! We look ridiculous! It's so unfair! We just wanted to fit in for once! We'll get through this together, girly! We always do! Hey, losers! Miss us! What are you two doing here? We told the teacher we just wanted to come check on you! Why can't you just leave us alone? Because it's fun to see you cry! You two are so of losers. You really thought a makeover would change that? Just stop it! We didn't do anything to you! Oh, boo-hoo! Poor little Mackenzie and Sky. Yeah, you both are nobodies. Take this! Ugh, <laughs> ow! <laughs> that looks fun. Let me try. Ugh, <laughs> ow! Stop! Guys, stop! Scarity has a broken leg! Like we care. Get him, Tiffany! Just know we're never finished with you. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Sky, I can't take this anymore. This is way too serious. On the bright side, they literally beat the tan off of us. Sky. Okay, I know. We can't keep handling this on our own. We have to call our parents and tell them everything. But what if it just makes things worse? It can't get any worse than this. We need help. You're right. We can't let them keep doing this to us. One hour later. I cannot believe this happened to our daughters. This is unacceptable. How could you let this go on, Mrs. Principal Lady Ma'am? I am so sorry. I, I didn't know. Oh, there will definitely be consequences for this behavior. I promise you that. You better make sure of that. School is supposed to be safe. School doesn't tolerate bullying whatsoever. I just wish Mackenzie and Skye had told me sooner. Don't you blame them for this. Yeah, you better fix this. I assure you, the bullies will be dealt with immediately. You're right. They will be. Lady, we are so sorry that this happened. We'll meet you girls at the hospital, okay? Okay. Thanks, Mom. But first, we have some business to take care of. Yeah, we will not let this happen again. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. We love you both. Just stay strong, all right? We'll be there shortly. Just hang in there. We will. See you soon. A few moments later. George, you better arrest those two girls for what they've done. Or we'll expose you from stealing donuts from Starbrooks after hours. Hey, that's a low blow. But don't worry. I was already going to arrest them. You better be serious, George. I'm serious. I'm filing the paperwork right now. They'll be behind bars tonight. Good. Those girls need to learn a lesson. Make sure it sticks, George. Trust me, those girls won't be bullying anyone from behind bars. Good. We're counting on you. We'll be watching. Sheesh, they're crazy. A few moments later. Doctor, are they okay? They'll be perfectly fine. Just minor bruising, except for Sky's leg, which is broken still, but stable in the cast. So she'll be alright? Yes, she'll be okay too. They just need to stay the night to monitor their vitals, but they're lucky. Lucky? Luck had nothing to do with it. Our children were bullied. Exactly. This is all because of those awful girls. I understand, but I can assure you they are safe now. Right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Now, if you need anything, just let the nurses know. Okay, girls, you've laid enough Roblox for today. We need to talk about what happened. We were scared to speak up. We thought it would make things worse. But staying silent gave those bullies more power. Well, they didn't want to be tattledales. Honey, 
Speaking up isn't tattletaling. It's protecting yourself and others. Yeah, I guess we just wanted to handle it on our own. Honey, sometimes you need help, and there's no shame in that. Yeah, we understand now. Good. You should never feel alone in this. What if it happens again? Then you come to us or a teacher or anyone who can help. Bullies thrive in silence. Don't give them that power. We won't, Mom. We promise. Yeah, we promise. Are you girls going to be okay if we step out for a bit? Yeah, we'll be fine. But why? There's just something we have to see through. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Moments later. Well, well, well. Look at who we have here. The mighty bullies behind bars. Ugh, what do you want? I talk some sense into you. Do you enjoy hurting others? It's none of your business. Actually, it is. Our daughters are in the hospital because of you two. We didn't mean to hurt them that badly. Bullying always hurts, whether you mean to or not. So what? We're just supposed to be nice all the time? Yes. You should treat others how you want to be treated. But we got bullied at our old school. We didn't know what else to do. And you thought bullying others would make you feel better? I guess we just thought it would stop us from being targets. Hurting others won't heal your pain. It only spreads it. Well, we didn't think about it that way. You have the power to choose kindness. You can change. Or we're sorry. We didn't know how else to cope. This is a lesson for you two. Always be kind and treat others how you want to be treated. Think about that while you're here. You can make a change. And we hope you do. Let's go. Our girls need us. <laughs>